Thank you for choosing the Ferno 93ES Squadmate. This video will familiarize you with proper operation and maintenance of the cot. First, take some time to review the following. It is important that everyone who will use the 93ES Squadmate reads and understands the user's manual. Follow the accepted emergency medical procedures when handling the patient. Observe all safety labels on the cot. Always use the cot restraints for patient safety. Never leave a patient unattended. Use a minimum of two trained operators to control the cot at all times. The 93ES Squadmate features roll-in loading, which eases the physical requirements of lifting. In addition, an adjustable backrest provides eight positions for patient comfort and medical treatment. The fold-down frame, when coupled with a raised backrest, shortens the cot for maneuverability. The cot has swing-down side rails. When the side rails are in the lowered position, they provide easy access to the patient. When raised, the side rails provide security for the patient. The shock frame lifts up and locks into position. Lift the frame and push the buttons to lower. In addition, the wheels swivel in all directions. The 93ES Squadmate adjusts to five positions for patient transfer. The auxiliary lock must be unlocked to fold or load the cot. Accessories shown here are two Model 430 and one Model 417 restraints. For a complete listing of additional accessories, visit www.ferno.com. This ends the orientation section of this presentation. You may stop the tape now for review or continue. We will now review operations of the 93ES Squadmate Ambulance Cot. You may want to pause the tape and try each operation as we go. The backrest can be adjusted to eight positions. To adjust the backrest from the flat position to the first position, grasp the backrest frame and lift. The backrest support engages automatically at the first raised position. To adjust the backrest from any raised position to any other position, support the backrest frame with one hand and squeeze the adjustment lever with the other. Move the backrest to its new position and release the adjustment lever. When the backrest locks into position, let go of the backrest. The fold-down frame can be lowered to shorten the cot for maneuverability. First, raise the backrest to its highest position. Slide the lock sleeves back as far as possible. Then push the frame down. To return the frame to its unfolded position, raise the frame. The lock sleeves will engage automatically. Keep the side rails up except during patient transfer. Lower the side rails when transferring the patient to or from the cot. To do this, pull the lock pin or squeeze the quick release and lower the rail. To raise the side rail, simply lift the rail until it locks. To place a patient on the cot, first adjust the cot to the appropriate height. Then lower the side rails and transfer the patient to the mattress using accepted medical procedures. Raise the side rail and secure all the restraints. Changing the cot from one position to another requires a minimum of two trained operators. When changing positions, one operator should stand at each end of the cot. Each operator should hold the corners of the mainframe using an underhand grasp. Always support the weight of the patient prior to squeezing the release handles. To adjust the cot from the folded position to the loading position, grasp the mainframe from both ends and lift the cot straight up. Lift high enough for the undercarriage to unfold and lock in the folded position. To adjust the cot to the high level position, Grasp the mainframe and support the cot at both ends. 
squeeze the head end control handle and lower the head end of the cot. When downward movement starts, release the control handle and continue lowering until the cot locks in the high level position. To adjust the cot to the mid level position, grasp the mainframe and support the cot at both ends. Squeeze both head end and foot end control handles and lower the cot. When downward movement starts, release both control handles and continue lowering until the cot locks in the mid level position. Repeat these steps to adjust the cot to the low level position. To adjust the cot from the folded to the loading position with one operator and an empty cot, grasp the mainframe at the foot end. Lift until the undercarriage unfolds and locks in the loaded position. Then pull the cot down onto its transport wheels. To adjust the cot from the loading position to the folded position with one operator and an empty cot, grasp the main frame and lift the cot forward until the loading wheels touch the ground. Unlock the auxiliary lock. Support the foot end of the cot by squeezing the foot end control handle and lowering the cot into the folded position. To roll the cot, place the cot in one of the rolling positions. Be sure to use safe lifting techniques when lifting the loaded cot. The operator at the foot end pulls forward, the operator at the head end assists by pushing and helping to maintain control of the cot. Roll the cot on smooth surfaces whenever possible. Cross low obstacles such as door seals squarely and carefully by lifting and pulling the transport wheels over the obstacles. Avoid high obstacles such as curbs whenever possible. To cross high obstacles, lift and carry the cot. Get additional help if necessary. Refer to your user's manual for more information on the proper way to maneuver the cot when using additional help. The cot must be in the loading position to be loaded into the ambulance. Raise the cot to the loading position and roll the cot forward until the loading wheels are in the ambulance. Unlock the auxiliary lock. Lift the foot end of the unlocked cot. When all four transport wheels are at least two inches off the ground, squeeze the foot end control handle and push the cot into the ambulance. The undercarriage folds as the cot loads into the patient compartment. The operator at the head end assists by using the lift handle to help fold the undercarriage as the cot loads. Secure the cot in the crash stable fastener in the patient compartment. To unload the cot from the ambulance, release it from the fastener. As the cot is pulled out of the ambulance, the undercarriage unfolds and locks. Lower the foot end until all four transport wheels are on the ground. The cot will be in the loading position. Pull the cot backward until the loading wheels just clear the patient compartment floor. Change the cot to the high level, mid level, or low level position before rolling it away from the ambulance. Thank you for choosing the Ferno 93 ES Squadmate. If you have any questions, please contact your Ferno representative.